All right, let's get some practice identifying y-intercepts. And just as a hint, the y-intercept is where a line intersects the y-axis. So pause this video and think about what is the y-intercept of this blue line. All right, so where is this line intersecting the y-axis? It's doing it right over there. Now there's two ways that you can say what the y-intercept is. Some people will just give you the y-value. They'll just say the y-intercept intercept is equal to, in this case, 6, because that is the y-value. Or they'll just give you the coordinates. They could also say the y-intercept is the point 0, 6. But either way, that point right over there, 0, 6, or when y equals 6, that's the y-intercept. Let's do another Let's do another example here. What is the y-intercept here? Pause the video, try to figure it out. Well, this line intersects the y-axis right over here. That looks like it is the point x equals zero. And actually, if we're, if we're talking about a y-intercept, x is always going to be equal to zero because that's when we are on the y-axis. And the y-value here is, we can notice it's halfway between two and four, it is right there at 3. So we can say the y-intercept is 0, 3. Or some people would say that the y-intercept, maybe y-int for short, is equal to 3. Once again, two ways to communicate that. Let's do one more example. I don't know where this little red spot came from, but let's ignore it. What is the y-intercept for this line? Well, we're intersecting the y -interse we're intersecting the y-axis right over there. That is the point. Well, x is going to be equal to 0 because we are on the y-axis. And y looks like it is halfway between negative 3 and negative 4. So it's negative 3.5. Or some people would say that the y-intercept is negative 3.5.